real versus our clay. Today on Clay Cooking Creations, I am making the iconic IHOP breakfast. If you can guess what item it is, then you would be right because they are pancakes. The iconic IHOP pancakes, so delicious and they look so delicious. And I'm gonna try and recreate them out of clay. Can I do it? We'll find out. But before we start, if you're waiting to see how our McDonald's cinnamon roll came out, you're gonna have to wait till the end. So let's get started. First, I have to cut the clay and I'm using a cooking spatula. This looks about right. Before I start sculpting, I wanna make sure that I know exactly what the IHOP pancakes look like. And they're very bumpy on the top with some holes in the middle and very, very thin. To start, I'm going to smush down my clay ball so that I can start with a circle and then spread it out. Now I'm smoothing it and adding some more details and shape. What I like to do is grab an extra piece of clay and smooth it on top so that there's no fingerprints on the top of it. Now I'm gonna use this tool to make all of the little details. It's looking a little messy right now, but I promise you it's gonna come out so good. Now I'm using this tool to add a little bit more texture and then smoothing it with my finger so that there's not so many spots. And when I'm done, it's gonna look something like this. I put my pancake on the paper, but while I moved it, it did break a little bit. So now I'm just making a couple of repairs and then I'll be ready to cook it. When I went to put that pancake in the oven, I took out this one, only it was like this and it wasn't broken. So now I have to fix it and I don't know how to, but I think I'll figure it out and hopefully it fixes itself. So I'm gonna take my tiny little sponge and my really soft clay and I'm gonna hopefully glue it together. I'm gonna spray it like this. Then I'm gonna take my clay here. I'm gonna take my sponge. I think this might work. Guys, I think this might work. I can't even believe this. If this works, I'm gonna have to throw a party because I was so upset when this broke. I'm gonna take more clay, like patch it up. I think this is gonna work. Okay. I cannot believe that I actually fixed it. When it first came out of the oven, I was like so upset because I didn't think I was gonna at all be able to fix it, but I did. And it looks so good. It looks like it never broke. And I can't wait to paint it because it's gonna look amazing. Now let's color match. I'm gonna add a little bit of a yellow. And then I'm gonna add some pastel yellow to lighten it up, but not a lot. And then the smallest amount of brown. I always add way too much brown and then regret it. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my little spatula and then stir it. I also think I'm gonna need to add more, but this is just to start us off. I matched the color, now it's time to paint. I'm gonna start with this color, which is the lightest for the base. And just around the sides because the middle is this darker color and I don't want too many layers of paint. I also want to make sure that I'm filling all of these little holes so that there's no like clay poking through because you want to make sure it looks as real as possible and real pancakes aren't gray. Now for the middle. Making sure to fill all of these little gaps. Now I'm gonna make some little details like around here. I'm 
Now with my lighter color, I'm gonna fill in all of those little craters that I made because these would be pieces of the pancake that haven't been cooked, so they're gonna be a little bit lighter. Now I'm adding a darker brown around the edges so it looks a little bit crispy. Now I'm using a fan brush to make some spots. And no pancake is complete without the syrup, so we're making some paint syrup with some clear, glossy Mod Podge. I'm going to pour this into the empty pancake syrup container. Now I'm going to add the smallest amount of acrylic paint. And my acrylic paint is kind of the color of honey because that's what maple syrup looks like. So I'm just gonna get the smallest amount because you don't want this to turn opaque. I'm gonna stir it in. I just found some leftover squishy dough and it's in the perfect butter color. So I made butter. Putting on the butter and the pancake syrup. Here's the reveal of our clay IHOP breakfast. Pass or fail, how did I do? I think it looks good enough to eat. And the moment we've all been waiting for, our McDonald's clay cinnamon bun. This is it all dried and I think it looks fantastic. The frosting looks literally so realistic. Guys, comment down below what you think we should do next. Leave your recommendations for food and snacks and everything that we love to eat. This came out so good, it looks amazing. And if you would like to see how this was created, you can watch that from one of our latest videos here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and see you real soon.